guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 5 of Skip to Low. First, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Every time. <laughs> it is. It is. Too much in Like, ah! Huh? It's okay, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just got to have fun with it. Make sure, well, you know, you're flat chested, so you don't have to worry about that. When it comes to that, yes, yeah, sometimes you have to push your boobs together, but make sure to hold your arms really straight, like really, really good. Tighten that arm, just mm, good. <laughs> As someone who used to play volleyball competitively in middle school-ish, bruh. Nuts.
Mm -hmm. Use your fingertips. Use your fingernails if you have someone. You never want to never spike that like that because mm -mm, that's a foul. It's the type of person who wants to watch their weight. Thank you, babe. Oh God, is this gonna hit home for me today? Oh, no, no. It is, and I'm probably gonna relate to her. You okay? Oh, oh. Send me about that. I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing, so please don't think it's a bad thing. <laughs> the shitless? <laughs> oh my god, Mika. <laughs> Instead of being friendly with them. Yeah. Being kind. Right. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Oh god, this is me. She is me. Oh my god. It's 
Except I ain't nasty people. I'm very sweet to everyone until you cross me. Once you cross me, that's... <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Damn, Sumi. <Simi. laughs> oh, babe. Uh, yeah. We're gonna whip you into shape. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the dog not as cute though, but okay. No, it, it's a little mm, right, like lazy. Why don't we just put it in like a nice little bun? There you go. You still want it good so that you still look presentable, and then voila, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and remember to have fun. Damn. Oh, my God. Just blind as a bat.
Of course, he's popular. Shoot the ball. Nice. Yeah, you can. Don't worry about using with her. You are on a mission. You give the food to him. True, yes, because you know what, us girls, we like to be jealous and bitter, especially when it's like, oh my god, who the heck is this bitch? Why is she here? Why is she giving this food to him? Da 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 da. Like, mmm. Y'all dating him. That's nice. Oh baby, that's see you the same way. How he he's in love with you, just as much in a way you're in love with him. It's just in the way one of you just needs to make the right move. How we doing this like this? Some haiku JoJo esque. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, woman! Oh, God. Get that ish. You 
still did good. That shot, that was for her. Happy. <laughs> Pickle veggies. <laughs> okay. Once again. This show, this show hits, there's always every week a character that you end up relating to or several characters you end up relating to and I did not think Mika would have been another character I would have related to. I mean, oh my god. Damn it! Especially in her situation, so okay. How do I word this? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this, but I, I think I really should because I think this is something that a lot, uh, like anyone, guy, girl, whoever, will seriously, like, secretly struggle with this. Okay, so in today's beauty standards, or we can go back to beauty standards when I was in, or younger in the 90s going into the early 2000s and such, the beauty standard was always, okay, hey, you're skinny, you look pretty, you're beautiful. If you're this, you're not really beautiful. And even now, in the age of 2020, my mind still cannot get over the fact is when I look at myself and because of the way and how I look and how people in society or the beauty society has portrayed people who are not skinny um, as not beautiful. And that's what she felt like with, you know, her weight and her issue. And, and that's something that I still, you know, struggle with. There are times that I am very confident and, you know, happy and I feel pretty and such. And, you know, anytime when I take a picture and I make a little clothes or something and I'm just like on Twitter and I'm like, oh my God, look at me and look how beautiful I am and such. But there are times where like inside, I feel like it's a constant battle with me and my issues on it and it's like i i am scared because i feel like i will never meet somebody who likes me because of the way i look and so i feel like i'm very hard on myself like that like i'm in a situation now where i'm just like i i want to be focused on myself and not to have a boyfriend but do i secretly want a boyfriend of course i think any guy or girl wants a boyfriend girlfriend whoever and such but at the same time there is nothing wrong with you focusing on yourself and being an independent bad bitch or bad boy you know you do whatever the fuck you want to in this um but those beauty standards really do hurt and the fact is that you know mika is like i feel like nobody wants me and i'm just like oh baby you me <laughs> like do <"Damn> me <laughs> i didn't want to relate to another character again i weak said and another character <laughs> i'm just like oh my god like this hurts but i completely understand her and the way that she thinks because in a way i think that same way like i i love the fact that you know she changed herself she ended up like 
having, you know, how like in some movies and such where it's in the beginning of the show or the movie, they're, they're pretty, but they're not pretty, pretty. And then of course they get the beautiful transformation and then they're gorgeous as hell. And they still have the mindset of where they were when they were at the beginning of the show or movie versus like the end and stuff. And they just have the two mindsets together and such like that. Um, and, and that's what Mika currently is as of now and the way that she looks at the world. I mean, yes, even though Shima is totally 100% into Sumi, I get the fact that she's over here like, no, I think he's going to be into me. But because in the first two episodes, she literally got rejected to him. She, her, her confidence, in my opinion, has gone down. And now she's like, once again, like, if he doesn't want me, then who will want me? When will I find my person? And once again, that is something I think a lot of us really worry about because, you know, we're on this earth to do, to find a career and to find a, a husband or a wife and to have a family, just like our parents have done so on and so forth. And then, you know, for generations and generations and stuff. But when you have that moment where you're like, you're, you're successful and you want to share that with someone and, you know, you're thriving in one thing, but in your dating life or your love life, especially if you are a hopeless romantic and you love love, but the love that you get in return is not the love that you want. It's like, when is my chance? Like, am I secretly... Am I meant to be alone? And I think that's what she truly thinks right now. And it hurts. It really, truly hurts. Like, you feel like you're just, you were made to be by yourself. And that's the one thing that I hate to say. Um, so please don't, <laughs> please don't cry. <laughs> please don't. I, I, in, my, in my mind right now, I'm crying. I am dead ass crying because I'm just so sad over this. But... I'll say this. I've said it once, I'll say it again. You're someone that's out there for you. And I even say this to myself. Deja, you're someone that's out there for you. It's just, it's not, it's not time. And sometimes you can be irritated. Because I, we know us, of course. We can be irritated. And, you know, we can complain and say, oh my God, where is he? Or where is she? Da, 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 whatever. Um, but they... They will come and that day that they come it, it'll be the day that you least unexpected mm -hmm. yeah you least expect it unexpected what that word was what, what was that teacher you least expect it most definitely you could just be at a barnes and nobles and you're literally hanging out reading a book or you're looking for a short manga and then you know hey someone just says hey and they want to talk to you and stuff like that. You just, you never know. You can meet somebody at your dang job. Once again, you never know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction video towards episode 5 of Skip to Loafer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 6. Bye, guys.